you're like crying inside and you're like 20 minutes good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel it's Shay Michelle and I'm so happy that you were joining me today we're doing a day in the life and I'm still on my family medicine um, rotation and so we're actually on week four week four yeah, we're on week four out of six right now. And I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get everything together so we can do well in this test, honestly. I wanted to come back because today is Thursday and I have a lot of things planned for today. I have to be in clinic. Um, again, they want us there at like 8.30 to, what is it, four? Not even, four. why am I saying four? 8.30 to like 5.30 p.m. But you guys, I know in my last video I mentioned being with um, a doctor that tends to let me out a little early, but she happens to be sick and all of that. Well, I'm assigned to be with that doctor again. I haven't been assigned to her since last week, so that's kind of funny, uh, the timing. But I'm assigned to her again, so I'm hoping she'll be here and she will let me out a little bit earlier at 5.30 because I have an advising meeting at 6 p.m. and it takes so long for me to get from the hospital back to my apartment. In addition to that, I'm actually meeting with another medical student that's currently on like a leave of absence to pursue another degree because i'm interested in getting another degree I, I obviously i just don't want to leave school for some reason i'm actually going to be going to dinner with her and then we're going to see how much studying we would get done after that i you know we're, we're going with the flow because yesterday i was so productive you guys i did 20 of my u world incorrects i also did 20 of the family medicine board questions that's directly on their site that's one thing a lot of people used to study they um, for family medicine you just use the legit board questions that's on the official like association of family practice or I can just put it in the description below I forgot what it is but they recommend just using that to study for your shelves. I did 20 of those. I also did 10 AMBOSS questions specifically on MSK or musculoskeletal system slash orthopedics um, and I did all my U-World. I wanted to come and show you guys some more pieces from Ana Luisa because we are in the Christmas time and they're having their biggest sale yet. You can get up to 35% off and this is the best time to buy it. I feel like this is a perfect Christmas gift. If you even notice, I have some of the earrings on that I wore in my last video because these earrings are so good for clinic. They're very small and obviously they look gorgeous. Um, so I've been able to actually wear them every day. Ana Luisa, again, is very affordable. They have, they're eco-friendly and they have a plethora of options. Um, so to show you guys some of the new things that I have that I feel like make the perfect Christmas gifts. Remember also, we're in the holiday season and I feel like this makes the perfect Christmas gift because it won't hurt your pocket and simultaneously the other person will love the jewelry. I got this gorgeous ring, you guys. Oh, finally a focus that I absolutely love. It looks so nice and everything. Um, and then we have this necklace that is also a keeper. It's very like subtle and simple. Um, and then we also, I had to get an S. I'm on my way to clinic, so I'm not gonna necessarily put this on now, but when I go out today to meet with the other graduate student, I am going to put this up so I look, you know, a little bit better than I do in the hospital. But again, they are absolutely amazing and I think key on affordable because, you know, things can get very expensive around this Christmas time and they're having their biggest sale yet. You can get up to 35% off, so I highly encourage you guys to check them out. In addition, all the information will be in my description box below. It's currently 7.18. I haven't eaten breakfast, but I am dressed, which is a positive. Um, so I'm just going to get ready to begin my day and then we'll go from there. Family medicine is very interesting. I guess to even tell you guys something different, yesterday I was actually in the um, prenatal clinic and it was for all the expecting moms and I actually ended up having two 38 weekers and then one person who's in their first trimester and so it's always so interesting and like cool to see like the differences and even emotions and not only that just like just expectancy someone who's 38 weeks that's quite literally already in the realm of your a full-term baby 37 to 40 weeks is generally a full-term child they could have this baby at any moment but it happened to be two people who had it who in their previous pregnancies were all post-term and overdue and past the 40 weeks it was just interesting to see them and then see someone in their first trimester that was just so excited to see or hear their baby's heartbeat for the very first time so all of that is always really cool to see people at different stages of the journey of pregnancy i'm just going to eat and then 
we're gonna head out because it takes me so long to get to the hospital. It probably takes me like 30 minutes. <laughs> It's 3.43 and I have officially been dismissed. We have updates. I'm back in the car and we'll just give quick updates and I'll talk about this more when I get back to my apartment. But that pasta at lunch time made me so sleepy. I was like, I shouldn't have ate that much. Because usually for lunch, I try to keep it light because you know, if you eat a lot of food, especially heavy food, it's like you get the itis and i felt it in full effect and i was so exhausted the second half on a different note i that in the morning with the first physician i was with i saw two patients and i wrote their notes um and usually i won't lie usually the physician also writes a note but this physician just used my notes and that as a med studio like ooh, i'm doing well and then the second half i was with my favorite physician um who's a pretty young attending like i could not imagine her being more than like 35 mind you i don't know how old she is but this is just to say how young she is she's like a pretty young attending i saw two patients with her and um she didn't have me write any notes at all she was she's so funny at the very end she's like not even at the end when i first started she's like i want to make sure you're out by 3 p.m she had me see a patient that i actually didn't even end up seeing till like 250 but and it's 357 now afterwards she's always like you should leave while it's sun outside you know like go have fun go live life and she does this spiel and it's so funny and i'm like i will go live life it's now 357 right now and at first i had the full intentions of going to take a nap when i get home before my 6 p.m meeting um so we'll just have to see how i feel once i get home um but i have a lot of work to do i really haven't done anything because usually i try to do something in the morning um but I just could not fall asleep yesterday so i didn't really i woke up a little bit later than i normally do so i couldn't get much done um so we'll see how i feel so either currently we're pending nap or homework i am surprisingly running ahead of schedule oh! let me just recap what's been going on and why it's so surprising that i'm running ahead of schedule basically you guys i got back to my apartment around 4 30 and i laid in the bed doing nothing until 5:55, and then um i logged up to my meeting at six and then the person i was supposed to be meeting says oh my gosh hey can i hop on in 20 minutes and i said 20 minutes you're like crying inside you're like 20 minutes because our meeting was supposed to be done in 20 minutes and i have dinner but they came at about 6 20 and then i asked luckily i had a lot less questions than i initially intended and we were honestly done talking 15 minutes later at around 6 35 and then oh and in that 20 minute gap i was able to put on my outfit for dinner so then i wasn't running too behind and now i'm just waiting for my friend to come for dinner who's going to talk to me more about the degree she's doing um and she should be here in the next eight minutes her eta says for dinner though y'all i put on the jewelry like i said it actually looks really good this is a great combination we have the s necklace and then we have the um kind of layered jewelry and then i have this cute ring on so it actually looks really nice and i'm excited that i have this of course i still have my classic earrings on but we're about to go to dinner because i was just laying in bed the last hour and a half i have not done any work so the goal after dinner i think is going to be to get 300 anki cars done i don't suspect getting back from dinner until like earliest eight probably 8 30 um and we're gonna go from there yeah so let's go it is 8 30 p.m and i feel like i'm always in this position but it's because my couch is here and this is the only seating i have in my apartment so i'm gonna be very honest i just don't think much more academic activities are gonna happen for the rest of the night but i went to dinner and the student i ate dinner with is also a friend and she answered all of my questions it's actually been a very productive day between my um uh, advising meeting and going to dinner with this student 
on that note, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog. I just want to say again, shout out to Anna Luisa. I still have their beautiful jewelry on. And this gorgeous ring that my friend actually complimented me on. Make sure to check them out. They're having their biggest sale of the year. Of the year. Of the 35%. That's why I'm not doing any work, you guys. I need to go to sleep. Um, but... I'm just gonna wind down for the rest of the day. So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this vlog. I very much appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, we're not talking.